frustrated Coach Laura to, to say the very least, you know, in, in the first half, you, you heard her say to Joe Abramson, you know, she, she wanted some scorers. And, you know, at the end of the game, when you're talking about compete, uh, that's, a, that's a serious thing that you throw it out there, you know, that the girls uh, compete harder. And I, I liked what she said there. Hey, listen, I, I'm not teaching effort. And, and that's, I think that's a statement moving forward for this young basketball team, Rod. Right, and, and there are no sacred cows. There, there isn't a, just because you start one game that you're gonna start the next game or because you got playing time this game, you're gonna get playing time the next game. And you send that message by getting some of your younger players in the game and giving them some significant playing time and seeing what exactly you have there. This isn't a team that's full of seniors and, and you feel like those are your best players. You're still searching for an identity, trying to figure out what exactly the rotations are that work best for you and what you're gonna get from different folks in different situations. Grand Valley wins big before we get out of here. Let's take a look at some of the highlights, some of the numbers as well. And Rod, as always, we start in the first half of action. Yeah, and the first half looked very much like the second half. Being able to convert from three, there's one that falls for Piper Tucker. She finished with 11 and 10. She had just three points in that first half, but heated up a little bit in the second. Another three falling there, and that's Bailey Carindove. She had 15, four of those three-pointers to fall. And Grand Valley was 13 of 35 from three-point range, and that was one of the bigger differences. They had 13 three-pointers. Wayne State finished with just 14 field goals total. So that tells you where a lot of those points came from and how this game was decided. Finishing out that first half, Christina Green from Wayne State. Turn around lefty off the glass there. And Christina had 13 points, four rebounds in those 21 minutes off the bench. She was our featured player. And then Shannon Wilson hits the three from outside. And, and Shannon 13 points, but it's just, you needed more of that. You needed more of attacking the rim. Going to the third quarter, Staja Chambers, and this is what we didn't see a lot of, was her trying to knife her way through. That very much is her game, but she seemed very tentative in what she was trying to do. Nate Birchmeyer to the rim, off the lefty off the glass, and that falls, and you felt like some of the momentum was starting to shift Wayne State's way, but defensively, they just couldn't get those stops. There's another three from Janae Langs. We mentioned seven points, 13 rebounds, and seven assists, just an all-around good game. And Langs, here comes another assist. Gets that one down low to Taylor Lutz. Grand Valley had 19 assists on their 23 field goals. I mean, they just picked Wayne State apart. Wherever the defense went, they found the open player in the open spot and got those shots to fall. And that spot right in front of the Grand Valley bench, as you mentioned, uh, and they were pouring in from there. You take a look at the numbers. I, I think that uh, that tells the story right there, Rod Beard, a convincing 17-point victory by Grand Valley. Yeah, you look at the 13 three-pointers for Grand Valley and the 14 field goals for Wayne State, the rest of the numbers almost don't matter. If you if you make 13 three-pointers in the women's game, you're going to win that game. Well, your final score, Grand Valley comes in and knocks off Wayne State by a score of 68-51. to 51. That's the first game of our doubleheader. I want to say thanks to you for watching here tonight. For my broadcast partner, Rod Beard, Joe Abramson, our statistician, Mike Prada, and the best crew in the business, the guys right here at CN900. My name is Sean Belegian saying good night for now from Midtown Detroit, where the Grand Valley State Lakers knock off the Warriors today by a score of 68 to 51.